Hello everyone. So in today's lecture, we will be learning about toxicology of anticholine esterase agents. So if we talk about irreversible kind of acetylcholine esterase inhibitor, which have severe kind of toxicity when they are given in increased amount because uh, most of the irreversible kind of inhibitors of acetylcholine esterase are actually organophosphate compound. So, organophosphates are mostly agricultural insecticides and which has led to numerous accidental poisoning with these agents. Many of these agents were actually developed by the military as nerve agents and these are extremely, extremely toxic because they bind to the enzyme irreversibly it leads to the long lasting effect so these agents are frequently used uh, for suicidal or homicidal purposes and organophosphate nerve nerve gas such as serine these agents are used in warfare and chemical terrorism so it is extremely extremely dangerous agents toxicity with these agents can cause cholinergic crisis depending upon the agent so serine is actually a nerve gas organophosphate nerve gas which is used as chemical weapon acetylcholine esterase inhibitors which are of irreversible kind or which are of, of organophosphate nature such agents are actually covalently bounded to the acetylcholine esterase so this binding can be uh, reversed or reactivated these enzymes are reactivated by a drug which is called as paralidoxine this agent can reactivate the inhibited acetylcholine esterase if it is given before the aging of enzyme and now what is the aging of enzyme when enzyme release alkyl group this cause the aging of the enzyme and at this stage even paralidoxine cannot be affected and cannot reactivate that enzyme so for paralidoxine to be effective we need an enzyme which is being inactivated before it reaches its aging state but one thing to be remembered that paralidoxine cannot penetrate cns so it can only be effective to reverse peripheral effects but it cannot go into the cns and it cannot reverse cns effects how it reactivate the uh, enzyme is that it actually displays phosphate group present on the of the organophosphate and regenerate the enzyme in this way there is reversal of both muscarinic and nicotinic peripheral effects of organophosphate but with a newer uh, nerve agent that produce aging within few seconds paralidoxine is now less effective because when this aging uh, state is reached before giving uh, paralidoxine there will be no effect if aging of the enzyme has occurred so the newer agents which uh, cause the aging of enzyme immediately after taking the inhibitor so what will happen paralidoxine will be no more effective and another thing to be remembered that this paralidoxine is actually itself a weak kind of acetylcholine esterase inhibitor so one should remember that while giving paralidoxine it should be given in only therapeutic doses if it is taken in higher doses what it can do it can further cause the 
एसिटाइल कोलिन एस्टोरेस इनहिबिशन एंड इट विल वर्स इन द कंडीशन and another uh, another thing to be remember is that it cannot overcome the toxicity of reversible kind of acetylcholine esterase inhibitors such as physostigmine or neostigmine so it is only effective for irreversible kind of acetylcholine esterase inhibitors what can be other treatment options Uh, atropine is also used to prevent muscarinic effects of these agents such uh, effects include increased uh, bronchial and salivary secretions bronchoconstriction and bradycardia so such muscarinic effects can be prevented by the intake of atropine so another thing we can use another agent we can use is diazepam and as we know diazepam is a sedative or hypnotic it is also administered to reduce persistent convulsions caused by these agents because it will calm the a uh, patient which is having such problems other than this general supportive therapies like maintenance of patent airway oxygen supply artificial respiration so these are some other general supportive measures which we can give to the patient in the case of cholinergic crisis which is led by anti cholin esterase agent so this is how you deal with the toxicity caused by organophosphate compounds which are actually of irreversible kind so these agent actually cause cholinergic crisis and this cholinergic crisis can be reversed by several methods which we have discussed in this video So if you have any question related to the topic let me know in the comment section below and thank you for watching my videos